What is up everybody? It's Janie B and welcome back to my channel. If you're here for the first time, then welcome, welcome. Today I'm going to be talking The Host by Bong Joon-ho. Um, a couple weeks ago, Parasite came out and I heard a lot of buzz. It won all those Oscars, so I watched it. I loved it. And so um, let's just say that was my gateway film to this treasure trove of South Korean films that I am very happy to say I've been discovering little by little uh, recently. So the host is one of those. Uh, oh, one that I did see that you may want to check a review out for my review is The Wailing and The Chaser, two super awesome movies. I also did one on Train to Busan. I had already seen it, but rewatched it. Loved it, of course. Remembered why I adored that movie so much. Anyway, moving on to The Host by Bong Joon-ho. Okay, so this movie I thought was the title. It's really cool because I think that The Host would be a good companion piece for Parasite. However, the two movies are unrelated. Uh, what they do have in common is that they both have the, the dark comedy element. Parasite is described as a dark comedy thriller. Um, the host is more of a creature feature with dark comedy interwoven through it, through the movie. Um, yes, the host is a movie about an amphibious creature that has mutated into a large monster as a result of large quantities of formaldehyde being poured into the, well, to be specific, poured down the drain that led into the Han River. Uh, this is thanks to an American military pathologist played by Scott Wilson from The Walking Dead. So yeah, way to go, Herschel. Uh, now we have this big creature because of all the formaldehyde being poured down the drain that led to the river. Before all chaos ensues, before all hell breaks loose, we meet the family that's at the center of the movie. So um, we've got Gang Du, which is the father, and he's played by Song Kang Ho who, if you saw Parasite, you may recognize as Mr. Kim, the father on Parasite. So I was really excited to see that he was in this movie as he was my favorite character on Parasite. We also have uh, his daughter. Oh, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Hyun So. Now, Gang Du, Mr. Kim from Parasite, is a bit of a bumbling simpleton. That sounds really harsh, but he is. And uh, his daughter even gets frustrated with him, but, but it's him, it's his daughter. They work, or he works at his dad's uh, snack shop. His dad has a snack shop by the river. So it's Gang Du, it is Hyun So, and then it is Gang Du's father. And he has a sister that we meet later on. We meet sister and brother. Sister is a competitive, Archer, I hope I'm saying that right. She does the whole archery thing and she wins medals doing it. So he's got also a brother that is a college graduate, but we meet them later on as, as the movie progresses. So yes, we, we meet these people, we meet these characters and then things get rolling. Things are going, then we see this, um, gigantic thing. First we see people like throwing things in the water and then we see this gigantic creature thing that is on land and it is just terrorizing those poor people that are spending a relaxing day by the river. So it's going around chasing and devouring everything in its path and of course caught in its crosshairs are Gang Du and his daughter Hyun So. And so she is taken away by this monster and things get going from there. So it's basically a kidnapping movie is what Bong Joon-ho said or self-described it as a kidnapping movie. So yes, she's been taken and with people getting eaten, being attacked, uh, it cuts later on to a mass funeral for the victims. And while this mass funeral is going on, um, that's when we meet the brother and sister of Gangdu. 
you've got we've got the government and military coming in to tell us that not only do we have this monster that we have to worry about now there's a virus that apparently the people that have been unfortunate enough to come into contact with this monster have been infected with so they're infected with this virus and so then we've got a quarantine situation and we all know very well how quarantine situations play out and I just have to say it never ends well for quarantine situations so that's going on while well, all that's going on they take Gangdu and his family because he's been in contact with this creature and they've taken them to a hospital anyway while they're there Gangdu gets a phone call and it is his daughter um, Hyun So and she is telling him she's still alive, she's scared, she's trapped in the sewers. So then this family hatches a plan to escape, break out, and to go rescue Hyun So. And then from there, we have other developments. And so I'm just not going to go into details of the movie because you have to watch it. Uh, we do have some developments during the movie that I can't help but relate to recent events going on, like the coronavirus and all this panic that is going on. I, I found it very timely. So there's a line that I thought was really interesting that Gang Du's father says, and it goes along the lines of, if the government says it, we have to accept it. And it's having to do with the virus. You have to watch it so you can you can catch that. I don't want to give you too much. I don't want to give away too much. Um, I enjoyed the movie. I wasn't sure at first what type of movie it was supposed to be. Like, I wasn't sure if it was supposed to be a comedy, but I was laughing, I was entertained, and I was amused. However, this movie, starting off as a comedy, evolved into more of a drama and like with all these other films, I found myself really caring about this family, really caring about Gang Du and his daughter, and just wanting everybody to be okay. Things I loved about the movie. Let's get into the things I loved about the movie. All right, first of all, my likes with the movie, my loves, likes. Dialogue, first thing, dialogue. There's one thing I've been noticing with these South Korean movies is that the dialogue is I love these exchanges between the characters. Very humorous dialogue. Even when I'm watching a movie like, okay, Parasite and its serious moments, or even The Wailing, Train to Busan, their exchanges that they have are really cool because it's like there's comedy interwoven, contrasting the grim events going on in the background. So. I really thought, I, I thought, it, I think it's genius when you can, when you can weave in a humorous exchange into a movie such as um, Parasite or The Wailing, this movie. So anyway, I love the dialogue. Moving on, uh, Song Kang Ho, he's awesome. Loved him in Parasite, loved him in this movie, loved his character arc. Like I said, he started off as a bumbling simpleton, but then his character develops more. And you'll have to see the movie to watch it, but I really, really, really found myself caring so much about him and uh, feeling lots of empathy for him. Uh, next, the creature design. The creature design and the creature's movements were so cool. The design, it was really awesome. It's it's big. It's original. I don't think I've ever seen anything that looks quite like that. But most like cool thing of all was the way this creature moved. It was so lithe and so quick, and it just was gliding, and it was really something to see. Uh, the initial attack on the crowd. That scene was another one that goes in my list of likes slash loves. Initial attack on the crowd was great. I haven't seen anything that good as far as a creature going after people since 
the Meg, which I found highly entertaining. So love that scene. Love the guy named Donald, who apparently was somebody that was in the military, but an American guy that helped um, Gang Do try to fight this this creature. So Donald was cool. Uh, the boats that the people on the river were on, I know this is a really minute detail, but I thought that was really cool. I need to go somewhere that has these boats. Little boats and um, look like it was a little dolphin. Anyway, it was cool. We need something like that here. So yes, I'm on a roll with these awesome films that South Korea has to offer and I'm so thankful for Bong Joon-ho for providing that gateway film, Parasite. And now I'm, I'm getting into all these movies and expanding my horizons. Uh, if you haven't seen The Host, it's definitely worth checking out. You can even find it for free here on YouTube and you can find it on Tubby TV, Tubi TV. I'll include the links below. And that's it. Um, come back and this is Jamie B at Sparkle in the Darkness and we will see you on the next one.